Hello, and welcome to this video on the keyboard settings from the control panel. Let's begin. What does it do? Well, it allows you to adjust your keyboard settings, such as the letter repeat rate. And the letter repeat rate is how long and fast before a letter will repeat when you hold down a key. So if you look here, you know, there's a repeat delay, a repeat rate, there's an area to test the repeat rate, and a cursor blink rate. And we will go over this in a demonstration towards the end of this video. So don't worry. Getting there. So this is one of those times where I actually have a strong preference. I actually prefer that you use one of the icon views to view or get to the keyboard setting. So small or large icon and then click keyboard. If you're in category view and you want to use it, you can use the search function up here. So you would type keyboard and it should give you the option to get to your keyboard settings. The speed tab. So the first and main tab when you get to your keyboard properties or keyboard settings is the speed tab. So this allows you to adjust how long you hold down a key before it repeats. It allows you to test the repeat rate and adjust the cursor blink rate. So like I had mentioned before, repeat delay, that's how long after you press a key and hold it that it begins to repeat. And then the repeat rate. So when it does begin to repeat, how fast does it repeat? In this area right here, you can actually click in it and test it. So you can hold down the key and watch it repeat there. And then the cursor blink rate. If you've ever noticed when you're typing, there's this little blinking cursor at the end of the word. That is what this controls. It controls how quickly it blinks. Moving on, the hardware tab is mostly properties about the keyboard and is typically used for troubleshooting or repair so you probably will not need it. So let's go ahead and move on. I'm going to do a quick demonstration here. Okay, I'm in the large icon view here and I will click keyboard and here's the properties. So I'm just going to adjust it a little bit here. We're going to use these a little bit. So the first thing I'm going to do is press a key and hold it. So I'm going to press the S key right now. And you notice it starts to repeat. And I'll let go. So what happens if I make it repeat rate faster? I'm going to press the S key right now. You notice the letter repeats much quicker. So if we make it slower, repeat rate slow, and I press and hold the key, notice it repeats much slower. So this area allows you to test these settings. Now what's the repeat delay? So let me make this fast again so you can kind of get an idea. So we're back to fast. So the repeat delay, if the delay is the amount of time from the press time I press the key until it begins to repeat. So if I press the key right now, and then it starts to repeat. I know it might be kind of hard to see that. Let me do it one more time. I press the key right now, then it begins to repeat. Now if I make that really short, And we'll try it again here. I press the key now, and it almost instantly begins to repeat. So, just to reiterate this, this is how long it takes from the time you press the key until it begins to repeat, and the repeat rate is how fast it repeats. Now you'll notice there's also this cursor blink rate. You notice in this box there's this blinking cursor? Well, that's what this controls, how fast it blinks. So, you notice it blinking right now. I can actually make it blink really fast. Notice it's starting to blink really fast up here. 
or I can make it blink very, very slowly. And that's all that this also adjusts. I hope that helps, and I hope to see you in the next video. Do not forget, when you're finished, if you like your settings, you click Apply. If you do not, click Cancel. Alrighty, have a great one.